The cochlea is a spiral structure and is divided along its length into two chambers by a membrane called basilar membrane. The membranes constituting cochlea, the rhizona and basilar, divide the surrounding parallel bony labyrinth into an upper scalar vestibuli and lower scalar tympani. The space within cochlea called scalar media is filled with endolymph. At the base of cochlea, the scalar vestibuli ends at the oval window, while the scalar tympani terminate at the round window, which opens to the middle ear. The organ of coti is the structure located on the basilar membrane, which contains hair cells that act as auditory receptors. The hair cells are present in rows on the internal side of the organ of coti. The basal end of the hair cell is in close contact with the afferent nerve fibers. A large number of processes called stereocilia are projected from the apical part of each hair cell. Above the rows of the hair cells is a thin elastic membrane called tectorial membrane. The inner ear also contains a complex system called vestibular apparatus located above the cochlea. The vestibular apparatus is composed of three semicircular canals and the autolith organ consisting of saccule and utricle. Each semicircular canal lies in a different plane at right angles to each other. The membranous canals are suspended in the perilymph of the bony canals. The base of canals is swollen, is called ampulla, which contains a projecting ridge called crista ampullaris, which has hair cells. The saccule and utricle contain a projecting ridge called macula. The crista and macula are the specific receptors of the vestibular apparatus responsible for maintenance of balance of the body and posture. The electrical impulse is sent to the brain through auditory nerve. Some of the sounds, especially loud noises, can enter the inner ear through the bones of the skull. This is called bony conduction. But the sounds heard by this method are not as clear as those transmitted through the tympanic membrane. Capacity of our hearing is limited. We can hear sounds in a frequency range of 16 to 40,000 hertz. Capacity to hear sounds at lower frequency remains constant throughout the life while capacity to hear sounds of higher frequency decreases in old age. Defects in hearing may be corrected by using hearing devices. Mechanism of hearing The external ear receives sound waves and directs them to the eardrum. The eardrum vibrates in response to the sound waves and these vibrations are transmitted through ear ossicles to the oval window. The vibrations are passed through the oval window onto the fluid of the cochlea where they generate waves in the lymphs. The waves in the lymphs induce a ripple in the basilar membrane. These movements of the basilar membrane bend the hair cells, pressing them against the tectorial membrane. As a result, nerve impulses are generated in the associated efferent neurons. These impulses are transmitted by the efferent fibers via auditory nerves to the auditory cortex of the brain, where the impulses are analyzed and the sound is recognized.